I brought Jeff in here with me. He's kind of a special beekeeper because uh, not only is he a beekeeper, but he also makes honey vodka. Okay, so he's like our new favorite guy tonight. Brought him right in here to talk about it. So, uh, how long you been a beekeeper, Jeff? Oh, uh, let's see, we've been keeping bees for about seven years now. Seven years. Yeah. And were you making vodka before or after the bees? Uh, that kind of came afterwards. Kind of got, got a lot of honey, got to find something to do with it. And sure. The first batch of the honey vodka that we did make, um, made uh, probably about four or five cases of that, and it went pretty quick, you know, within the, uh, within the month or so. Right. So a lot of beekeepers, once they hear about it? Um, beekeepers, just lots of people like the uh, the flavor of it. Uh, they you know, like it's got honey. A, it's got a little bit of, it's not sweet, you know, it's because it is a distilled product. Right. But um, it does have the aroma of honey, and a lot of people like that. So it has sure. the, the sort of the um, characteristic of sweetness. And so uh, you have seven hives, you said? No. Uh, no, about a dozen. A dozen spread yeah. all through Fort Collins and such. Yeah, we're urban beekeepers, catch the swarms. Awesome. And, uh, and so, but obviously, then you have a lot of hive hosts, or do you own all those pieces of land? Or uh, about half of them are ours, and half on friends. On friends' properties. Yeah. Usually, they are like gardeners or something like that, and they really like you know how the bees just you know they get much better vegetables and stuff. Right. Like that. What else did we need to talk about? Um. I think we need to talk about having a taste. Oh, <laughs> what in the world is wrong with me? If you take a little sniff at first, you might get a little bit of the sweetness. Oh, um, yeah. There's no harsh alcohol no. Um, aroma that you might get with uh, some other products. Oh, no, that doesn't even smell like vodka in reality. It's, yeah, it's really clean, really smooth, clean. very high. We, we distill to about 93, 94% uh, pure product. Wow. And you can't distill greater than 50, 95 anyway, so. Right. So we're hitting about as good as you can get. Okay, well, sir. Prost. Oh. Oh, I can see right there on the tip of the tongue. Yeah, on the tip of the tongue. Tasteness. I usually prefer to sip than shoot, but uh, <laughs> oh, well. to each their own. Well, I'm from Wyoming. <laughs> I don't make any apologies. No, that's not the way my mom taught me to do it. <laughs> I just wanted to taste. I have to drive all the way back down. So. Yeah, so. Just to taste. Um, Officer, it was just a taste. <laughs> but yeah. still spirits. It's like, yeah, it's mostly... Just text. I like oh, it, Doug. Yeah. I like and it. And turns out it's actually Definitely this guy who uh, used, to used to do artwork for a pinball machine. That's what it looks like, actually. Yeah. Well, we wanted something, you know, Heather wanted strong women doing things um, as kind of the theme for a different product. Mmm. I like that. It's all warm. It's all warm. Oh, yeah.